Hi, I'm Stu Harrison, and I'm here at Miriam Pianos in Toronto, Canada. And today we're going to be looking at a piano that's got a very personal past for me, the Kwai K15 upright piano. Now, the reason it's personal is this instrument was actually the very first piano I ever bought with my own money. I grew up with several instruments in my home. My mother had an upright. Uh, we eventually purchased a grand. But when I got out of university, this baby right here was actually the very first instrument that ever graced my own house. I had it for nine, ten years before I finally upgraded, and I can tell you it was a fantastic experience. Uh, and because of that, I've actually sold several to friends, colleagues, professional players, and here's the reason why. And it's still something I believe in absolutely as much to this day. For the price, let's say $5,000 or less, the K15 has to be the most consistent, well-rounded, upright piano I can possibly think of in the entire market to buy. And so whether you're a parent who's looking for a starter instrument for their kid, or maybe you're a professional student or a, a player in need of something fairly low cost but really, really consistent and satisfying to play, the K15 just has to be on your list. You need to play the instrument, you need to try the action, you need to experience the tone. Uh, I'm telling you, it's not going to be something that's easily beaten for its price range. The Kawhi K15 uses its ABS action which is a very strong, very light, very fast composite action that was developed starting all the way back in the 1970s. It uses composite materials to replace some of the wood components in the action to improve its stability in climate changes as well as increase its speed because of the reduction in weight. And that's something you can really feel and notice, especially when you're playing other pianos in the three, four, five thousand dollar price range. You take it for granted that a piano should behave exactly the same way in July as in January, or that playing the very top C to the bottom A is going to behave in the same way. That's just something that you expect. But as the price point comes down, as you get closer and closer to that $3,500 mark, the $3,000 mark, these don't become things to take, be taken for granted. They literally become luxuries. So this is one of the nicest parts about the K15 is that all of the elements that you would expect in a professional upright piano are still very much present without having to feel any compromise. The action on the instrument is light, it's fast, it's easy to play, and it's very, very easy to control. The sound of the K15 would definitely be the second thing that comes to mind for me. And again, because of the context of how it uh, compares to other pianos in the price range. Um, I'm thinking of instruments such as the B-Series from Yamaha, maybe some of uh, Samick's nice product in this area, uh, or maybe some of the Young Chang's. As you look at all of these pianos across this price range, um, and you're listening to uh, the clarity of the sound, you're listening to the fullness of the sound um, in, in pianos of this size, uh, particularly how it deals with the break between the main treble bridge to the bass bridge, that's a big deal. Um, when you compare the K15 to all of those other instruments, uh, you've got a piano that certainly is a, a rounder, a more mid-range tone. Uh, you've got a piano that plays very similarly, no matter where, whether you're on the bass bridge uh, in the mid tenor or the, or the treble sections of the piano. It's super even across the break. Um, and of course, the case. This is a 44-inch piano, which definitely makes it one of the smaller, shorter instruments. Uh, but this is by no means a downside at all. Uh, when I first bought it, I was in a condo situation, uh, and I know exactly that this is 58 and 3 quarter inches wide, uh, which is going to fit into a lot of small situations. The fact that it's also 44 inches means that it'll fit under the majority of window sills, uh, and the fact that it's legless and a little bit more shallow means that it's taking up a slightly smaller footprint. So for people like uh, me, who are in an urban living situation, uh, or maybe a townhouse, the smaller footprint is definitely going to be an asset. Uh, in some cases, this is really no bigger than a lot of digital pianos would be. So I'm going to give it one last play, just so we can hear the K15 once again.
So again, Kawai K15, part of the K-Series, their 44-inch Continental Upright Piano. And I'm Stu Harrison from Miriam Pianos in Toronto, Canada.